it comes to laying floors in your home, one of the biggest challenges are what subfloor do I put underneath? And some subfloors are fairly complicated, do require a contractor, may need to have a truck to be delivered, but there are others that are DIY. And one of the ones that I work with that is a DIY installation is Dry Barrier. Um, what I like about Dry Barrier is you can literally go down to the store with your vehicle, your car, whatever, and you can probably load up enough material to do your whole place. It's super lightweight. Uh, you get lots of panels in there. You can see how light a box is. You know, you're going to get a lot of coverage out of each box. So that's the first thing that makes it DIY. It's also affordable, which is fantastic as well. Um, talk about the installation. Uh, let's see basically a click installation. They call it easy snap system. So you line the panels up, you've got the snap and the tongues here, and you basically line up the holes, it snaps in. Those panels are now well. You can see how easy this is. Uh, if you've ever played with blocks or Legos, you've basically prepared yourself for this installation. Again, snap it in. Now I've got three panels, and I will keep this going, obviously, until I get to a termination point, um, which is where you actually have to do a little bit of work because you will have to cut these panels. Here's the good news, no power tools required. This can be cut with a utility knife, so you can cut them with uh, a heavy gauge pair of scissors. With a strong utility knife, you can score this and snap this. You can also use some tin snips, you see they will cut right through it right there. So you can cut this, uh, which makes it super easy. You don't have to go outside. There's no dust, there's no mess. You just keep snapping them together. Once you have your floor laid out, I would recommend taping all the seams with a tuck tape that will ensure a final vapor seal between your subfloor and uh, your finished flooring. Um, a lot of people will lay laminate or vinyl directly on top. There's no other membrane required. So you're basically going to get into your next floor application like this, get started. It's as easy as that. You get your new floors laid right on top of this. If you were going to do a hardwood product, uh, you would add a, a base that you can nail into. But for any floating floor application, you're done just like that. Super simple.